right, so what's going on everybody? Welcome to this next video of music reaction and reviews. Today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, Disciples new compilation Afterlife Volume 2. So the next um, volume of uh, Afterlife by Disciple has just, well, it's been out for a while now, but yeah, I'm gonna be reacting to it now since all the tracks are now here, all nine. So uh, let's just get into it with uh, Ray Volpe with What You Need. And uh, all these tracks are going to be melodic dubstep like or melodic rhythm like. So I'm pretty excited for it. So stuff like this. That's pretty much what the entirety of Afterlife is. So the Ray Volpe returns with a more melodic track. Okay, I love how these, uh, this fast chord progression with the vocals, with the vocals. That's a pretty good way of doing a melodic, uh, tr uh drop. Yeah, that was a really cool uh, first drop. That was really sick with the fast chord progression with the vocals. I like that a lot. Alright, next drop. Three, two, one. Bake out. Oh, nice. There. Yeah, I like that. I love that last part with the glitchy effect. But yeah, this was this smelling real sick so far. Wow, this, these, these vocal effects glitching out. Okay, let's take a pose it one more time. Ooh. Oh my god. We got a key change. We have never seen that happen on Disciple. Well, I haven't at least. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, I wasn't paying. I, I wasn't paying attention to this comment that Revolpy just said. Yeah, it's really cool. <sighs> wow, that key change. I love that a lot. Anyways, that was uh, Ray Volpe with What You Need. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the, the draws were really cool with the fast chord progression and the vocals. The, the non-drop sections were also really cool. I love the, the melodic sound to it. And that last drop with the key change, I love that. I really like that part. Um, but yeah, so that was What You Need by Ray Volpe. Okay, next up we got Essence Axis by Devat. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Okay, already this is gonna already already this sounds melodic, of course. Yeah, I really like it, uh, Disciples Afterlife compilation because it's pretty. You get to hear these epic melodic tracks because Disciples usually does um has a producer show off uh, heavy drops and hearing like chill or melodic drops in right here is actually pretty sick. I like that pattern in the background with the percussion. Okay, let's see, we're going. What? What is this drop? What is that sound? That is peaceful sounding. Also, 
to listen to the longest one in the compilation. This is five minutes long. Oh boy. Yeah, that was. I really like that a lot. The the the, the main basis for the drop. It sounded so. I don't know. It sounded so peaceful sounding. Yeah, this is a pretty long middle section. Looks like we're finally dropped in. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say about that one. That, the ba main basis for that drop was kind of peaceful sounding, pretty quiet. Uh, the long middle session was also pretty good too, like a little br like nice break. And uh, yeah, really cool. Essence Access by Devat. Okay, next up we got Memories by Autumn Hate. So here we go. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was a build up. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I mean, it does sound good, but... Yeah, I, I do like it a bit. Yeah, that was a pretty good. I don't know what I. Uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like I was. No one had enough in it. I don't know. No, but I like this part. Little bridge melody. Oh wait, we dropped it again. Okay, it's kind of similar, same for as the first one. Yeah, again, I'm not quite sure. It, this, it feels like it's kind of empty for some reason. I don't know, I just feel like... This feels this feels a bit empty. Okay, there's not going to be a drop now. That was the last one was just a long drop. And this is going to be a long outro. But yeah, again, I'm not quite sure about this track. I just think that the drops on it a bit empty. I don't know, yeah, that was, that was probably it. Uh, everything else was fine. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was Memories of Autumn Hate. Again, I, know, I don't know about that track. Uh, I just think the drops aren't too empty, but the melodies in the intro to out the long outro in the middle section were, also, were pretty good. Those were probably my favorite parts, though. So, uh, yeah, Memor so that was Memories. Okay, next up we have I Have Something to Tell You by Blosso. Blosso from the, uh, who made the, uh, he, Blosso was in the last, uh, Afterlife compilation, um, th that track he made, they made, um, was kind of minimalistic, you know, it's just regular, like, rhythm, but with, uh, arpeggios and stuff. So... And uh, hearing this one in the previews, this was a uh, sounds like a big improvement. So I can't wait to hear this one. And we'll start again right to the drop. Yeah, this is a big improvement from Snow, which is the last track they made. They made. Yeah, I'm liking this one a lot. Ooh, those vocoded percussion-like sounds. 
That's, that's what melodic uh, drops are all about. It's the uh, vocoded sound effects. Nice. Wow. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that was a big improvement from Snow. So we're starting up again. Nice pick up. Ooh, got another melody play. Wow, yeah, that is a big improvement from uh, Snow, the last Afterlife track that Bossa made. Yeah, lots of people. Yeah, lots of people are, are saying that this is better than the snow, and it's a big improvement. I I would agree with that. Oh shoot, what? Okay, but yeah, that was um. I have something to tell you about Blasto. Again, yeah, really great improvement. Um, the drops were pretty good. Uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the foot coded sounds in this middle section was really cool. And uh, yeah, really sick. <laughs> Okay, next up, we got Lost Limerence by Chime. Yeah. And Chime said that uh, this track is supposed to be lo-fi and uh, melodic rhythm, or color bass, but I prefer calling it melodic rhythm. So yeah, this, we're gonna have some lo-fi elements to it. And I like this intro a lot. Oh, vocals. Hear the low fi elements. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll clap. Oh, I like that. Oh, we're starting again. These sound, these sounding, uh, uh, these sound effects and flux and these leads are really sick sounding. I love it a lot. Like a little combination. Wow, that, yeah, lo-fi with melodic rhythm, that's, it's actually pretty good. Whoa. Oh, is that like a, a slap bass? I hear a slap bass. Yeah, also these vocals were, uh, this was sounding pretty good. Okay, let's see if I can jump one more time. There we go. A chum snare coming in. Wow. And wow, that was really, yeah, that was really cool. Lost Limerence. <laughs> yeah, again, cool mixing uh, lo-fi with melodic rhythm. I love that a lot. Uh, yeah, not that much. And the vocals really cool too. The percussions and those leads, really nice. Nice one, Chime. Okay, so next up we got Synergy Feet uh, by Convexity. Convexity, alright. Oh, I like this uh, piano pattern. Oh, a nice impact. Oh, it sounds kind of futuristic here. Okay, let's go. What? 
This is okay. That was a very confusing pattern. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one either. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that was a very short drop. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It sounded the pattern sounded a bit too confusing to follow. Alright, but I really like this middle section. Oh, nice break. Beat. Oh, I really love this break section, but like, seriously? Ooh. <laughs> Next drop. Synergy. I mean, this one's a bit better. I mean, it's a bit better, but I can't really follow along to it. Also, it, go also, it goes on for too long, especially for a pattern like this. So, yeah. Not quite sure about this track, either. Kind of like uh, the Autumn Hate track. <coughs> oh, but I like this outro. Oh, it's gonna impact. Ooh, look, a quiet impact, but I liked that one. Yeah, that was Synergy by Convexity. Again, I'm not quite sure about that track. Uh, the drops, the patterns in the drop sounded a bit too confusing to follow, but the intro and the middle section were pretty good, especially that piano in the beginning part. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, Synergy by Convexity. Okay, so it's days later because I didn't have time again to record the uh, previous track, so we're just gonna continue on now with Know You by Jitterclick and Mike Shift. Okay, so I like those plucks. Oh, I like that. These plucks actually sound really sick. Something tells me this is gonna be a way more chill. Okay, here we go, so it looks like we're gonna drop now. Triplets. Ooh. I really like the use of those plucks. It kinda keeps the melodic feel to it. Okay, now we got that real color sound to it. I really like those color sounds, those color chords. And the plucks in the first part of the drop was a, was really cool, I, I like that a lot. And this part right here where it sounds chill, I love it. And the drums coming in. Ooh, you can feel that low, that sub bass. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, they should have kept it as a. Okay, I guess I keep switching like that. Again, I really like these plugs for the drop. Oh, and here comes the color. I kind of prefer the plugs more than the color chords. Okay, that's gonna cut to the next track. Alright, so yeah, that was uh, Know You by Jitterclick and Mike and Mike Shift. Yeah, really chill track. I really like that. Um, the drops, I, really, I like the drops. I prefer the one, the drops, the first part of drops with the plucks more than the the color chords. But uh, yeah, really sick track though. Okay, so, okay, so next up we got Dead Love by Magic Bite featuring Trixie. This is also a short one. The shortest one in a compilation. Oh, I can, I can already hear those melodic rhythm chords. 
Oh, I guess we're building already. I mean, this is a short try, so... Ooh. Ooh, I like this. It's kind of liquidy sound. Those color chords actually sound pretty good. But it's just sound effects in the background to mix that, that water sound. Oh, and the vocals in the background as well. Yeah, that wasn't bad, actually. It's kind of chill, kind of like the last track. And these vocals are also, again, really good. Oh, okay, I guess we're, we're going to build up again. Here we go. Okay, kind of similar to the first one. I guess it's a different chord progression? I don't know. Yeah, that was a really sick track. Dead Love by Magic Bite featuring Trixie. Oh, that's gonna cut off like that. Yeah, again, really sick chill track. Uh, the drops, really liquidy sounding, and with those color chords too. Uh, not too much to say, except uh, it's really chill. So I pretty like that one too. Okay, now we're up to the final track of the compilation, which is Origami by Six Sense. Here we go. This uh, the compilation has been going really good. Really nice melodic tracks, chill sounding tracks. Oh my god. Okay, I guess something good for this final track. I was reading a uh, comment, Sixth Sense is uh, 15 apparently. That's cool that we're having some uh, young producers uh, into the music industry. I like that a lot. I hope, I hope there's more people who are like that. What? What? What is that plot? Was oh, that like a little snare too? Huh. What was that plot? It sounded very liquidy like the last track as well. <laughs> oh my god. That was that was pretty good though. I like that. Okay, next drop. Fake out. Wow, I wonder what sound in, uh, they were using to make that. Yeah, this track was pretty good though. Those, those like watery, like crystal, like plucks, really good. It sounded like it was like like actual water, like it's going all over the place. I kind of like that. Ooh, we got a four to four beat. Haven't heard that in a while. Well, in this compilation, I mean. I don't think any of these tracks even had a 4 to 4 beat. That's a nice time. Oh, we got a little Jersey Club beat as well. Track roll. Is, how was that sound made? Like seriously, how was that sound made? That was a pretty good track, actually. It's actually mostly most of these tracks are really good for you to like relax and uh, study too. Kind of like lost like lost limerence by Chime. That's supposed to be a lo-fi and rhythm track. So, but yeah, that was Origami by Six Sense.
really cool track. Again, I really want to know how they made that uh, plucky sound for the drop. Uh, anyways, uh, the intro and the bridge was really good. Uh, the the bridge section, the bridge section with the 44 beat and the Jersey Club beat was really cool. Um, yeah, and all three drops again really sick when water resounding. But uh, yeah, that was all the tracks to Disciple Afterlife Volume Two. <sighs> this was a really good track. Uh, I mean, good compilation, all melodic. And really better, and I think this might be a bit better than the uh, first one, probably, or maybe just uh, a chiller version. But yeah, really sick. Yeah, I really hope uh, Volume Three will be even better as well. It yeah, really hope so. So uh, yeah, uh, leave a like. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya, everyone. I just wanted